Good. Oh, looking good. Nice. Oh, this is real good. Oh, perfect. Hey, what's up? Just shooting some DSLR video. If you're like me, you tested out the camera, looked amazing inside. You go outside in the sun and it's a different story. You're doing one of these things. Oh boy. Um, yeah, I, th I think it's in focus. I, I have no idea. I need an LCD viewfinder. Well, if you've ever priced LCD viewfinders, you saw right away how expensive they are. They range from like $50 all the way up to like 300 or more, and that's just a little too much for my budget. So I came up with a quick fix for an LCD viewfinder for your DSLR camera, and it'll cost you about five bucks. <laughs> So you got your DSLR camera and you realize you need an LCD viewfinder. Unfortunately, a lot of these cameras, the IP shuts off and all you have to reference to for video is the LCD. And that makes it nearly impossible in bright sunlight conditions to keep focus. Well, today we're gonna make a viewfinder that fits right over our LCD screen and it's gonna cost us about five bucks. The cool thing about this is majority of the items you probably have around your house, so this will really cost you nothing. And these are the items you're gonna need. First, you're gonna grab a container. Any container will do, but what you're looking for is a container with a round eyepiece. That's gonna go over your eyeball. And then a rectangular end on the other side. That's gonna go over your LCD screen. This is gonna be our LCD viewfinder right here. We're gonna grab a magnifying glass, and we're probably gonna use that one right there. Next, you're gonna grab some rubber bands. I grab some hair ties. Anything that's stretchy will work. Then we're gonna grab an old set of headphones. We're gonna use the padding off of those. That's gonna be for the eyepiece. We're gonna need some hot glue and some spray paint. Now you wanna get spray paint for plastic. I made the mistake of using regular spray paint and everything flaked off, so there you go. First, you're gonna take your container and peel the sticker off. Now, I'll be honest, this is probably the hardest part of this entire project. The sticker is so hard to get off. I was having such a hard time with it. All I can say is take your time. Hopefully you'll have better luck with yours, but just take your time and peel it off both sides. All right, once you get that sticker off, we're gonna cut the bottom off of our container. Leave as much plastic intact as possible. Cut the very bottom off. All right, once the bottom's all cut, what we're gonna do is take our magnifying glass. Now in our case, we have a little plastic nub that we need to cut off, so we're gonna cut that, sand it down smooth and get it all ready. Now keep in mind, that's your lens, so be careful not to scratch it. All right, once that's ready, what we're gonna do is temporarily put it inside of our container. So we're gonna tape that in place. Once that's set, we're gonna hold the container up to our camera and check the focal length. Now chances are it's gonna be way out of focus but we just wanna make sure. So we hold it up to the camera, and if it's out of focus, we're gonna trim a little bit off the bottom of the container. And what we're gonna do is gradually work our way down and get the container to the exact focal length that we want. The cool thing about this is we're customizing this viewfinder to our eye. So this is a custom viewfinder. You might wanna put a reference mark around your container with a black marker or some tape. This will help you keep a straight line when you're trimming your container. After your container is cut to size and the focal length looks good, you can take your container and kind of bend it like this. And that'll help square it off so the rectangular section of the back will fit on the camera perfectly and you can kind of mold it the form that you want. Once your container is set and the focal length looks good, you're gonna take the lens out and we're gonna prep the plastic and go and paint it. Now that the container's painted and looking real nice, we're gonna bring it back and put the magnifying glass lens in with hot glue. Now in my case, the hot glue gun wouldn't fit down inside the container, so I had a hard time with this. Uh, I figured out the best way to do it was just to put hot glue around the edge of the lens and place it in with my hand and set it. Once it was set, I would kind of dripped a little bit more down in there to bead around the edge. Next, we're gonna grab our headphones and pull off the foam padding. We're gonna cut a little circle out of the middle of this, and this is gonna be for our eyepiece. All right, we're gonna stretch that over our container. Once your eyepiece padding is all in place, we're gonna grab some bands. Now, you can use rubber bands for this. I'm using hair ties, but we're gonna tie two of them together so it kind of forms a knot, and it's gonna make an X formation. We're gonna make two of those, a set for the top and another set for the bottom. All right, there you go, now let's place it on the camera. We're gonna stretch the top band over the top of the camera body, and then the bottom band, we're gonna stretch over the bottom of the camera over the tripod mount. That's it, you got your LCD viewfinder. Let's take a look at what it looks like. Now keep in mind, this is just the camera's point of view. It's gonna look a lot better in person. Yep, I got Magic Lantern installed on my camera. That's a whole nother story. You just put the quick fix on an LCD viewfinder. Keep in mind, this is just one way to do this. I encourage you guys to go out there and make your own. And if you do, leave it as a video response. I wanna see it. Dude. 
bananas. Do, 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 do. All right, movie ideas. What do I got here? Movie ideas. Stupid pen. Get out of here, crap pen. Jesus. Oh, I guess I can call Eric and see if he has any ideas. Time for a glass of water. Nothing like a glass of water to really make the mind. Hmm, no, no water. Guess I'm not having water. Weird. Huh, what does that sound? <laughs> ah, not again. Stupid alien space war. Do you want your film featured on Quick Fix? Leave a 30 second mini movie as a video response and we might use it in a future episode. If you get a chance, leave a comment below and let me know what you think and what you might want to see on future episodes of Quick Fix. Thanks again for watching. Quick Fix out. LCD. Oh yeah, looking good. That's so much better. You're totally in focus. So there you go. And here's the differences. This is one I paid $150 for. And you can see, I mean, obviously it's a little bit nicer, but this one's a lot heavier. And it mounts on the back of the camera with a little bracket and a magnet. This one just stretches over. Super lightweight. Costs nearly nothing to make. I don't think it, I mean, obviously the eyepiece looks a little different. I don't know if there's some other, I don't know what else you can use. Leave a comment if you figure out something else I could use for this rubber mount. That'd be great. Anyways, there you go.